Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon, and welcome back for more Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Last time on Chris's Journey. We ventured up through Route 26, I believe this is? Yes. And eventually reaching... Pokemon League Reception Gate. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please go right on through. This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. Off to the Pokemon League, are you? The Elite Four are so strong it's scary, and they're ready for you. Uh-huh. First things first, though, we got Victory Road. I remember this Victory Road being very, very small, funny enough. But it's not to say it's not going to be tough, though, because there are still going to be some challenges among, among here, so... What are the levels of the Pokémon like in this area? We have a Rhyhorn here. Yeah, low 30s, that makes that's a fairly reasonable level for this, I think. I think I'm gonna lead with Izanagi here, actually, now that I think about it here. I don't think there's really that many trainers, if any, even in this area here, so... Yeah, this area is just... Kind of a small victory road, all things considered. But, yeah, some Pokémon here are pretty powerful, though. Level 34 Graveler, not too bad. Shouldn't be too hard to train for a lot of the stuff on our team here. We're pretty well versed in fighting rock and ground types. There's a ladder here. What else is in this area? There's gotta be more here. Over this way. Random wild ride on here. Sounds like it'll be a nuts thing to do, but I actually kind of want to hit this thing with an ice punch. I really do want to see how powerful that would be against this thing. Nice one shot. That's going to be a boatload of EXP. Yeah, over a thousand. Very, very nice. Very nice to see that. Okay, up this way. Full heal, very nice. And a max revive. This area is similar in layout to, like... I, I guess it is the same Victory Road from the Kanto games, but... Yeah, it's just a lot emptier. Alright, on this second floor here... Nothing in there... God, these random encounters. Do I... I should seriously put a Repel up here if I'm gonna be avoiding most of these things here. Certainly I have a Max Repel. I've picked up a lot of random items here. Nope, I have a bu bunch of Max items... Max other items there, but not a Max Repel. Up here we get... HP up. Um... I'll use that, I guess. May as well. Uh, I guess I'll use that on Luke, I guess? Probably my tankiest team member, so... Yeah, why not? Razor Base HP. Probably gonna soon reach a point where the effort values aren't really gonna matter at this point, but... That's... it's all good. It's all good at this point. We knew you were here, bud. Hold it. Are you gonna take the Pokemon League challenge? Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. Not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. Chris, I challenge you. It's time for a rival battle once more. Once more. 
Sending in Sneasel first. Okay, okay, I see how this is. This was the last thing he used against us last time, but... I see? He also appears to have at least one new team member in his arsenal, so... We'll have to see what that is. Alright. Of course, you're using Quick Attack to get a one more cheap shot in, in on me there. Alright. That Sneasel's down. What's your next Pokémon gonna be? It is... Magneton! How about I use my starter for this here? Quills, get out here. Since Morgan's team is going to be fully evolved, my team is pretty much mostly fully evolved as well, so... Let's go, Fire Punch! Shouldn't have any problem one-shotting, there we go! Alright, what's your next Pokémon going to be? It is... Yup, it's the Feraligator. It's the Gator, of course. I've always tried to throw some weird stuff in against this thing, but honestly... Electabuzz really is probably the best option for this. It's funny how much of a rivalry these two have had, like... I think almost every... Well, I guess we've only fought him twice since I've had... Izanagi on the team, but... Wow. Just wow. A crit on Morgan's ace. That is... That is awesome. Impressive, but... Yeah. And you still have a Haunter. You did not evolve that yet. Huh. I see. Alright, well, you've seen this thing several times before. He did this to us last time, too, and this caused a lot of weird strife before. God, really, we're doing this crap again. Uh, let's. Not even take the chance. Yeah, I knew you, I knew it was gonna do that. There was no way it wasn't gonna want to use curse there. Oh my God! Of course, you're using Confuse Ray again. I mean, that's about all you can do. Okay, screw this. Screw the thought of this fight here. If only Teddy had a certain other attack, that would probably be more useful here, but... Um... I'll just send in Quills for this. I don't foresee it being too annoying to Quills here. <laughs> Good thing I got out before that happened. I doubt you expected me to switch like that. Probably a mistake to think about that, though. Nice job. What else you got? Golbat. Okay. Um... I'm actually gonna try Teddy here again, because I feel like Teddy should be fine against this Golbat here. As long as it doesn't also no Confuse Ray, which it very well might. It's just going for a ring attack. Uh, can we take one? Yes. Probably can't take another, but... Hoping we might not need to if the strength hits as hard as I think it will. <sighs> I can't take another ring attack there, so... Um... He'll probably use a potion on it, but... There's wing attack. Let's hit him with a wing attack of our own here, because why not? Of course you know Confuse Ray. Why wouldn't two of your team members both know Confuse Ray? Come on. Scizor has a lot of defense. I don't think a wing attack is gonna be that strong here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
All right, wing attacks down. What is your last new Pokemon here? What do you have? K oh, Kadabra. Um, this would be our best option against this. I just don't know if I'm. I think I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to Luca. I think. I doubt a Kadabra can hurt. Luca too too well here, so Okay, you're gonna use Future Sight. I should be able to take this thing out before Future Sight hasn't a chance to do anything though. Yeah, that's a very powerful surf. I think I'm just gonna finish this with waterfall here. Or you could use Recover. Okay, this should I think Recover can finish it off from that or Waterfall can finish it from that range though. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Luca. I couldn't win? I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm gonna find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. And I'll beat you down with all my power. <laughs> Better keep at it until then. We will, dude. We will. There is more to this area. There is more to this area. But thankfully, I don't think we need to worry too many about the, too much about these wild battles here anymore. So. I'm pretty sure the ending is just past that, like, cave entrance that we just passed up there. I just want to explore a little bit more because... TM26! TM26! I have waited for this for so long! Ursaring! You are learning this right away because this is Earthquake! <laughs> Tough but useless versus flying foes. That is such a bad description, but I don't care. Such a good, good move. Yeah, we're teaching this to Ursaring right away. Mud Slap is alright, but oh my god, the power of this attack. Teddy forgot Mud Slap and learned Earthquake. Not even relying on those accuracy hacks anymore. We're just gonna rely on hitting with the hardest freaking attack we can muster up here. Earthquake is an awesome attack. It is such an awesome attack. It does so much damage. It is a... It's one of the best attacks in the game. It's true that it's not great against flying types, but... Who cares? Genuinely, who cares? It is that good. Alright, this cave, last item of the area here, it is a full restore. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, we're pretty much through... Oh, I have to actually go down this way, I think. We're pretty much through Victory Road here. Through here, we arrive at Route 23 here, which is, in fact, the Indigo Plateau, the ultimate goal for trainers, Pokemon League Headquarters. This is pretty much our last stop on the way to becoming a Pokemon Master here. We shall, in fact, heal up here, and I'm gonna meet you guys back here in a bit because I kind of want to do some more training here. Our team is looking very, very good right now, but I want to be a little bit higher level before going in any further here, so yeah. When I meet you guys back, our team will be ready to take on the Elite Four. Wow, our team has officially been through a lot. I leveled everyone up to level 42 with the notable exception of Wonder, and I have some reasons for that. I'll quickly mention off camera, Luca learned yet another new move. It learned Wing Attack. Not the most useful move on a Mantine, but it's a flying type. Could be useful against fighting types or something. That's... Oh, and there was one other move. I... Yeah, I forgot. Scizor ended up learning Swords Dance. Doubles its attack power. Very, 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 very nice. 
but yeah. Let's use a couple of items here, such as this rare candy. I want to use this on Wonder here to get it up to level 42 like the rest of the team here. And it is finally, after all this time, learning a move that is better than Vine Whip. Better late than never, I suppose, but holy crap. Holy crap. Wonder has finally learned Razor Leaf. And you know what that means. It technically learns Slam on like level 54, but honestly, screw that. Let's use a Leaf Stone and fully evolve Wonder. And get our team fully evolved. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, but here we go. Wonder has evolved into... Victory Bell. With all of that being said... Our team is looking mighty fine to take on... To take on the Elite Four. Next time on Pokémon Crystal... Our team... We'll take on the ultimate test and prove that we are the champions of Johto once and for all. I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out!